Take a good look at this bad boy because it is going to look significantly different on the outside when we're done with it today. What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. We are back here at the White Household, Walter White from the Breaking Bad TV show. If you guys haven't seen it, it's a great show and uh, this is a complete like almost perfect, virtually perfect recreation of the house. So in our last episode, we did the inside. This thing was a complete mess. And uh, you guys can see we, uh, we we picked it up a little bit. It's not necessarily a good looking house with the, the way they had it in the show, but I think that's what it was. You know, Walt was like a, an older gentleman, you know, late 50s, early 60s, you know, nearly retiree type deal. So he wasn't on top of his interior game, I guess. But anyway, now we are gonna be moving to the exterior. We have a huge front yard here. We need new gravel and stuff all over the place. May end up planting some trees and whatever else. And then of course, back here, we have a gorgeous backyard with an in-ground pool, a lot of room for patio furniture and other fun things to be added in. And uh, I'm pretty excited. I just realized, what is, what is that? Get that out of here. Anyway, let's go back to the front yard and uh, we're gonna start there. So thankfully, unlike our dream house that we built in our last little mini series on this game, this is all rock. There's no grass, there's no you know sod to be laid or anything like that. The tree is already there, so we need to put down some multicolored rocks, looks like mainly black and white, and then just some like little solar lights up the driveway. So uh, let's do it, man. I'm, I'm excited, this is gonna be good. So here we go, we're gonna go outside surfaces. Um, I'm gonna say we want the two colored gravel, but we want it in the large, I think. It looked like they had pretty big rocks there. Yeah, this is nice. And man, oh man, is this easier to put together than, uh, than some sod, dude. Look how quick this is. We'll put it all the way up the side, all the way down the back. All looks good to me. Sometimes it's kind of weird with where you can and can't put it. You gotta, gotta kind of shimmy it a little bit, but um, this is gonna look good. Get rid of this white gravel. Get some black and white in there. Just got an achievement, call me Edward. Not sure what that's about. Who's, who's Edward? What does Edward have to do with putting down rocks? I have no idea, but we're we're called Edward now, I guess. This is so satisfying, dude. Look at this, this giant rectangle that we have here. I'm just going up and down each side, just a nice, perfect line all the way through. Dude, this, this is extremely satisfying. All right, so we're gonna get some around this tree here. Anytime you butt up against something, it gets a little bit weird on you, so we'll just do that. And then we got one final line here and bada bing bada boom there it is those are done so now we need some some just like lights um is that under other decorations maybe yeah i'm i'm gonna say just like some pretty traditional ones so let's do one at every crack and we're gonna do that up up the uh each side of the driveway so we can do one at every crack just like that and then we can do the same thing back down nice and perpendicular looks good we have one all the way at the end too yep all right gotta move that and then move this one in boom all right so we've got that um i think the actual yard itself up here is done obviously when you look at that picture they've got kind of like white siding going on white paneling i guess you could call it um it stinks because the wind, the area around the windows is the dark wood, whereas we aren't gonna we aren't gonna be able to change that here. It's gonna have to stay white. But um, hmm, I just if we do white with the white, I feel like it's gonna look wrong. If you want me to be completely honest, I think we may be better off leaving it as it is. I think at some point in the series, forgive me for being on my phone here. I think it. I don't know if it got repainted after the series was over or later on in the series i know they had like a little remodel didn't they i'm just gonna leave it I, I think if we put white like wood paneling or anything like that it's gonna look so stupid with the white windows i just i, I don't i don't think that would work out so boom there we have it front yard is done that was honestly one of the easiest things that i have have ever done how do we can we get a um can we get any sort of a a doorway here i don't think they make outdoor doorways if we go in here we can go to uh doors and windows can we put yeah we can't put that there 
Weird. I, I guess we're just gonna have to leave it open. I don't think we have an option. Okay. So anyway, we're back here. I'm actually, let's go back to our, we're gonna go back to our garden. We're gonna go back to our surfaces, get our two colored gravel. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this back here as well. We can put it underneath all these bushes. So let's, let's make sure it's all, all uniform all the way through. It's the attention to detail that really helps out. Got all that. Should we put it back here too? Oh, we can't even, we can't even put it back here. You can't change it. Okay. Anyway. All right. Um, wow. Front yard's done. Let's work on the backyard back here. So I do know that they had a table outside. Let me see what we can find here. We're going to look for furniture, tables. What, ooh, something like this might make a good outdoor table. I kind of... Uh, that's a little small. I mean, it's not bad. We can consider it, but I feel like it is a little bit small. We also may have some options here. We're going to look for tables. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of cool. That's pretty cool. That's, that's a traditional outdoor table. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. See what else we have. I, I feel like that one, that one's my favorite. We're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with the slightly darker wood though. Maybe something like this. All right, looks good to me. And then let's go ahead and line that up. Actually, let's center it with the, the whole area here. Something like that, boom. That looks nice, I like it. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna need some chairs around this thing, obviously. Uh, let's see, furniture, chairs. See if we have anything interesting. This is pretty cool. I like this. Um, something a little bit darker. I think let's let's put two on each side rather than doing some at the front and the back. I think that might might look a little bit better. So boom, we can go like this, and then one final one there. All right, I like that. That looks that looks nice. We could put a little a little fern up there. Ooh. Oh, we can't put that down. I was gonna say that that would be kind of cool. An erect fern. That's what I like to be called. We're just gonna go with a, a simple fern. I like that. Boom. Okay, so we've got that uh, around a pool. I mean, you're definitely gonna want some like sun loungers and stuff. I also I know I think there was another. We could put like a small table here along with a barbecue. Let's do that first. Let's finish up with like the traditional furniture, and then we'll work it at some of the other stuff. So we're gonna go with like a very simple, very simple table here. Why is this, why is that so ugly? Are we actually changing the colors at all? No, it's, I, I feel like the textures aren't loading in. Okay, so we're gonna forget that. Um, how big is this? That's kind of cool, I like that. I like that. So we're gonna go with the darker wood and then a, uh, hmm. Kind of color do we want on the, the thing probably probably a, a beige i like that that looks pretty good so we can throw this here um and then we're gonna want some chairs to go around it probably a little bit lighter can change the cloth cover we can go sand in that does that look good uh, it's gonna kind of ugly i'm not gonna lie we're gonna pass on those although i mean there's so many cool options here man Mooner chair, does this work? That works. I feel like that works. It's got kind of a little bit of the, the wood color in it too. I like that. So we're gonna set this up like that. Nice little two-seater dining table in case Walton and his wife wanna get a, a little, little romantic. And then we're gonna go for a grill. So let's, is it uh, recreation? Yeah, recreation, what kind of grill do we want? I wanna buy the Fury grill. We did the other one last time. So we can set this up like so. Ooh, you know what? I don't think we we shouldn't have we shouldn't have painted that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna have to get some paint real quick. That is that is really ugly with the the green sticking out the side. The problem is, I don't know what color the house is. Um, is a light biscuit close enough? Close, but not really it. What about a bright peach? Ooh, bright peach. I think that, that might be the call, Trev. Shoot, it's not, and now you got the second part of the wall. Oh, this is not good. Coming in clutch with the sand almond. That's what it's called, okay. I dig it. 
We're just gonna put that around like that so that all, all lines up. Oh, dude, mistakes are being made right now. I, like, sincerely hope we're gonna be able to find this thing. I'm not convinced that we're gonna be able to. Are you kidding me, dude? All right, what we're gonna do, nobody's gonna say anything, nobody's gonna freak out. We're gonna take one of the little slabs from underneath the table over here, and nobody's gonna notice. We're gonna go put it in this spot. We're gonna pretend like nothing ever happened. Boom. Actually, I think, I think we might need to move it. Move it like that. Boom, we're good. Nobody knows. Pretend like you don't see that, okay? Looks, uh, looks good to me. Anyway, let's move on over here. Obviously, this is a great sun pad area, so we're gonna check out some of the, uh, the, the furniture for that. Uh, we've got some, some Gibi couches. I mean, honestly, that matches the interior, and that matches the bedroom and everything. Bro, we gotta do it. We gotta do it. Alright, so we've got, we've got three in the household, so I think we're gonna buy three of these bad boys. Try to line them up. Like it's some sort of a, a fancy resort or something. Just like that. Looks good to me. I like that. We could have kind of like a, a little umbrella back here. Let me see. Umbrella. Let's go. Um, can we change the colors? Oh, yeah. Bro, that's dope. Okay. I like that. We've got the umbrella shade with the three things there. What else can we do back here? What other options do we have? Um, we've got a bunch of other furniture and stuff we could do. Obviously, he's got that little girl, so we could do some recreation for her. Um, we could do a garden swing chair. I like that. I like fire pits a lot. I really want a fire pit myself. Uh, we could put like a little along this wall because there's nothing here. It's big and open. We could put a little fire pit and then another couple little chairs. So we're going to go back. Furniture chairs we want some cool chairs here we could do a little something like this i wish you could set up like um you know uh like roasting sticks and and have s'mores and stuff hanging out but i guess where they live in in some uh, uh arizona new mexico new mexico it was new mexico um it, it's pretty hot i don't know that you'd really want to fire up the the fire all that much i feel like uh hmm i don't know what do you guys think? Should we should we add like a little kids play area or something? That could be cool. They didn't really have it in the game. I just like designing things, if you want me to be completely honest. See some of this architecture here? Could put a tent up, mini gazebos. None of that's really calling to me. Fences. Ooh. Could we put this gate? Could we put this gate over by the fence over here? I don't think that's gonna, yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, never mind. Good idea, but poorly executed, Trev. Um, yeah, nothing nothing really super crucial there. We definitely wanna, we're gonna add some plants for sure. And we could do some some flower beds and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna say, let's, let's just give her a little something, dude. Plastic child swing. She's gotta have something to be able to hang out on. So we're, we're gonna buy this. Oh, this is big. This is bigger than I thought. Okay. We're gonna bring it over here and see if it'll fit. Um, yeah, it'll fit. It'll fit. Boom, looks good. I kinda wanna assemble a swing. See how this goes, see how hard this is. Oh, well that was pretty easy. To be honest, I don't like it. I wanted to try it, I don't like it. I, I feel like that kinda kills the vibe a little bit. We've got a good look going on here. And I feel like that just didn't didn't make any sense. I think I am if it's gonna let us, because it wouldn't. It ooh, these are weeds. It wouldn't. Oh, this is cool. How it has the rocks and stuff up in there. It wouldn't let us change the color of the uh, the rocks. But I would like to add some plants in here if we can. So like some of these shrubs, I feel like could be pretty cool. I realize this is probably a little bit weird, but I'm just getting like a cool. Not even like you would want all these potted plants out there, but just if it was like a, a vine wall or something, you know what I mean? Like, it's, I'm not considering these individual plants. We're going to put stuff down in front of it so you can't see it. And it's just going to be kind of like a, a giant wall of a lush tropical garden. I feel like, uh, I feel like that kind of kind of fits it a little bit. Or at least breaks it up, you know what I mean? Like, New Mexico, it's all dry and sandy and, and 
everything's dead and whatever else. So let's let's at least have like a little backyard oasis, if that makes sense. Wow. All right, so we've got those, but now we're gonna need some more desert plants. You know what? I'm, let's just let's start from scratch. We're gonna get rid of everything here. Now we need some some desert plants. So let's see if we can find some more kind of like broadly spreading bush. Eh, that's a a little big. It's not bad. We'll consider it. Erect erect shrubs. Gotta love those. Ornamental grass. Yeah, this is this is very deserty. Dude, I I'm gonna be honest, I know nothing about gardening, so I'm just gonna throw a bunch down and then we're gonna throw a bunch of rocks and then we're gonna add some other plants and stuff in. I guess you know what? We we could at least make this uniform though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna put one at each fence post. I I really like it's not like I know much about interior design either, but I know zero about gardening and making a garden look good, so I uh I apologize for what's about to happen. This is pretty cool though. You know what? Let's just keep it symmetrical. We're gonna bring this down here. Place it here. Grab another one. Place it here. Final one. Place it there. Okay. That's kind of cool. What else could we put in here? What about some ornamental grass? Not bad. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I want to add a bunch of color, but at the same time, you wouldn't you wouldn't get a ton of color in a, a climate like this. At least I don't think, unless you watered it all the time. So we need some some kind of desert themed plants. We want to make it actually go with everything else. All right, that's that's not not bad, not too bad. Let's get some conical boulders. We could start. Putting some rocks up, I guess. I, I don't I don't know, dude. Another garden boulder. Could put it like there. We could put like a where's that that little owl? Could put a little owl here to kind of mix it in a little bit. Getting some some interesting feng shui. Go we could put another another couple boulders over on the right. We could do a big one, and then we could do uh, a couple small ones. Grab the small ones. A couple, uh, actually a small one and then we'll do the elephant. Let's do the elephant on this side. All right. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I don't know. It might've looked better before. I, I, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't know if I love the whole line of things there. They're a little too bright. We should have gone with a, a more neutral color. Let's see, can we put like, I kind of want to put like a little fountain. I'm just a, I'm a fan of fountains, if you want me to be honest. That's too big. We need something super small and simple. Water wall. Oh, dude, that is cool. Let's put a water wall up there, 100%. You can turn the lights on. Bro, that looks so good. It doesn't really make sense in the Breaking Bad house, but hey, I'm kind of turning it into my own house a little bit now. I think we need to move it over to the right just a little bit. Um, it's like we're adding a, a, we're infusing a little bit of Asian in here. A little bit of, of, you know, just kind of like some feng shui and stuff going on. Um, what else could we do here? See, like we could, we could go with these Japanese towers on each side. I think that's kind of cool. I like that. Boom. All right. And now you can listen to the water. It can chill you out. You know, Walt just didn't know he needed one of these. He wouldn't have freaked out and gone so crazy if, uh, if he would have had a, a water waterfall, a, a water waterfall, a, a wall waterfall in his backyard. But, um, hmm, we've got that. We have prime planting ground right here. What should we go with over here? I'm going to look for some plants. I'm going to look for something small and colorful. Something like this. I like that. Except, should we switch off? I'm going to... I'm gonna go through, just cause it, it's easier and it'll make it way quicker. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna plant each one of these and then we're gonna switch it off with a different color. I've been thinking about doing this for our, um, our dream house build, but I honestly just didn't take the time on it. So we're, we're gonna test it out here. To be honest, these flowers need to be blue for that blue ice that we be making. All right, so we've got that. Then I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna sell 
each one of the ones in the middle because then we're going to have the perfect spacing that we can come back through with a different color just to kind of mix up the look a little bit. So let's see what else we could do. Should we do something like this? I like it. It'd be cool if it could have been a, a different color of the same plant, but like that doesn't look bad. I like the look of that. We've got some, some reds and some purples over there. Do we have the same thing on this side? We do not. We don't have any option there. Man, I'm going to be honest. I thought this was going to take longer than it did. We kind of flew through this. I feel like it turned out pretty well on the exterior. The front yard just like, it took no effort. It was like putting down rocks, putting in 10 solar lamps or 12 solar lamps and that was it. The front yard was already done, complete with the pizza and everything. So I, um, I guess that's going to be a wrap on our Breaking Bad house. If you guys don't remember, let's head inside here. Make sure we cover the whole thing. So we've got our really ugly living room that is pretty true to what it actually looked like. We've got our dining room, which again, as close as we can get. The kitchen, honestly, is probably the, the furthest away. Like, if you looked at this kitchen, you wouldn't know what TV show that was from because we just don't have the option to put in the breakfast bar and the, the um, island. But if you looked at this, you would know what it was. In here, we've got his daughter's room. We've got Walt Jr.'s room. We've got the, uh, the safe room with all the safes and the money and stuff. We've got the master bedroom, and then from there we can head out to the beautiful backyard, complete with a dining set, another little table in the grill. We've got a little cookout, fire pit spot, and then some nice sun chairs to be able to relax that match everything. I feel like we did a good job, dude. I, I, I think we really did. Now, as I mentioned before, I am totally down to ask Chels if she wants to come back on and do another flip with me for the next episode. Now that we have the, the outdoor, you know, kind of like garden DLC where we can actually edit the outside, I think she would really enjoy that. So we, we could go all out on a, uh, a flip together. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. Drop a like, leave a comment. And uh, we appreciate your guys' support. Before we end, let's go ahead and, uh, and get rid of this thing. We're going to submit this for a contest. I would guess this is most American out of anything. So we're going to see what we have here. Holy! Oh my goodness. 116 points. A new record. We only had a half star off on our plant selection. We could have had a little bit more there. But still, 47.5% increase to the price of our house. Let's put it on auction and see what happens. We spent 94,000 for it, put uh, $1,100 in renovations, 13,000 in furniture, and uh, let's see what we're gonna end up coming out on top with. Bro, we are gonna profit $161,000. I'm gonna negotiate a little bit. Let's bring them up, say another 10. What's another 10, you know what I mean? Just, just go for it. I, I need another 10, I wanna make 170. We can accept your proposal. Bada bing, bada boom. That's it. Accept the offer. We got her done. We just made a lot of money right there, dude. That, that was solid. Anyway, back to the cribbo. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Drop a like. Subscribe. Peace out.